Well, our Lord and our God would have us to know that not only is this a unique and special day in the life of little Ellie, it's a day when he calls us to remember our own baptism. You see, what we're going to do is it's not just a ceremony, it's not just something ceremonial or ritual or ritual. God Himself is speaking. He's calling us to remember our own baptism. To remember the cleansing that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. The privileges that we share in the covenant and the communion of the saints. And our responsibility now as those who have been identified with Jesus Christ to no longer live for ourselves, but to live for Him who died for us, who was buried for us, who was raised for us on the third day. You see, the Father wants to encourage your heart. And the baptism of the of you and you of Jesus Christ. And also to Don and Ryan. Let me encourage you, Don and Ryan. By faith, begin to instruct Ellie, as you have already begun to do with David, in the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pray with and for her. And Ryan, I sense that every father, and I mean it, may Ellie always see you and Don and go quickly to the cross of Jesus Christ. That Christianity is not about doing better. It's about a rescue, about a holy God rescuing a wicked people for his own portion. And he always sees you run. May she always see you run to the holy to the cross. Always strive to set before her an example of piety and godliness and endeavor by the appointed means of God to bring her up in the fear and admonition of the Lord. Precious promises. They're for you. They're for you. Not the promise to you to you. For to you is the promise of your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call on you. And I will establish my covenant between me and you and your children after you throughout your generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto you and to your children after you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved, you and your household. Let me read to you these covenant vows and affirm them as I read them. Ryan and Donna, do you acknowledge Ellie's need of the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and the renewing grace of the Holy Spirit? Do you claim God's covenant promises in Ellie's behalf and do you look in faith to the Lord Jesus Christ for her salvation as you do your own? Do you now unreservedly dedicate Ellie to God? and promise and humble reliance upon the divine grace that you will endeavor to set before her a godly example, that you will pray with and for her, that you will teach her the doctrines of our holy religion, and that you will strive by all the means of God's appointment to bring her up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Amen. Let me ask the congregation here at All Saints, if you are a member at All Saints in the stand at this time, also have a vow to take as those who come in with our triune God at the belly of Ryan and Don and David. Do you as a congregation undertake the responsibility of assisting Ryan and Don in the Christian nurture of Ellie? We Amen. do. Amen. You may be seated.
Thank you. 